We're looking ahead to Monday's eclipse and how it can affect the weather in the middle of the afternoon. Yes, Fox 61 meteorologist Ryan Breton is planning to check it all out himself and he has more tonight. The eclipse brings an opportunity for everyone to experience science on April 8th, and it's an especially exciting time for meteorologists as the eclipse sun in the middle of the afternoon can affect the weather. Anyone viewing it from the path of totality will experience a drop in temperature. This time of the year, the sun is as strong as it is in late August. As the moon covers the sun, if the sky is clear, temperatures in the path of totality can drop 5 to 10, maybe even 15 degrees. During during the 2017 eclipse, temperatures in Carbondale, Illinois, dropped about five degrees during totality, as you see here. There was an even more drastic drop in the 2001 African solar eclipse when temperatures tumbled from the low 80s into the upper 60s. This change in heating during the middle of the day can also affect the wind, which often lightens up around totality. The eclipse can even help thunderstorms develop, especially in southern parts of the U.S. If the temperature drops at least 10 degrees in the past, it creates a zone of cool air that sinks and spreads out. This cooler eclipse breeze then dips under the warmer air outside the totality zone, creating instability, rising air, clouds, maybe even a pop-up thunderstorm. That's a pretty rare phenomenon. Here in Connecticut, since we will not experience a total eclipse, expect the sun to appear dimmed and temperatures may level or even drop a few degrees in the middle of the afternoon when our high temperature usually would be occurring. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.